and grace from the eternal Godhead, including the almighty, merciful, and loving God, the Father, the Father of lights, the Ancient of Days, His Holy Son, Yeshua, or Jesus Christ, or Emmanuel, who is God manifested in the flesh, and the Holy Spirit of Truth, who lives in God's children, in God's saints, who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit moves them to bear fruit in them and to repent of their sins. Love, peace, and grace be bestowed upon God's saints in these troubling end times. As part of my presentation today, I'd like to share with you three prayers, three different prayers from three different men of God, including King Solomon, Nehemiah, and Daniel. Beautiful prayers, starting with King Solomon in the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verses 22 and 23. And Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath, who keepest covenant and mercy with thy servants that walk before thee with all their heart. Near the end of his prayer, King Solomon adds in the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verse 61, Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God, to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. So notice that, that Solomon speaks about God who keep his covenant and mercy with his people and who encourages his people to keep God's commandments. Let's see what Nehemiah says in his prayer to the Most High God, to our Elohim. Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 5, we read, And said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him, and observe his commandments. Verse 9 of Nehemiah 1, God replies back to Nehemiah. But if says, you turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Again, in the case of Nehemiah, we speak or we talk about keeping the, co the covenant and the mercy of God and to keep his commandments or to observe his commandments. Another great man of God, a great prophet who looks at prophecy, at the future and end time events, the prophet Daniel. In Daniel chapter 9, verses 4 and 5, we read, and I prayed unto the Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned, and have committed iniquity, and have done wickedly, and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Three great men of God basically said the same thing. King Solomon, Nehemiah, and Daniel. They spoke about the covenant and mercy of God and about keeping his commandments. Three prophets of God essentially said the same thing. And we are, what are we to do today? Are we to do likewise? Are we to keep the covenant of God? Are we to keep the, co the commandments of God? Are we? As in the days of old, with King Solomon, the prophet Nehemiah, and the prophet Daniel, who spoke again about God's covenant and his mercy 
and keeping his holy ten commandments are we to do that today as well did God change anything along the way Malachi 3 verse 6 says with God speaking I change not God does not change does still does God still have mercy upon his people of course he does God is merciful he pities them that fear him that love him and keep his commandments is there still a covenant that needs to be kept by God's people with God with God being the author of this covenant is there still a covenant as Solomon spoke about Nehemiah and Daniel as well about God's covenant and his mercy with his people is there still a covenant out there for us to follow and for us to keep in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16, we read, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. What are those laws? Well, by reading King Solomon's beautiful passage, his beautiful verse in the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verse 61, and if we read again, Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 5 and 9. And if we read also Daniel chapter 9, verses 4 and 5, we see that there are three common trends between all three prophets. God's covenant, his mercy, and keeping his Ten Commandments, his holy Ten Commandments. And here we have a covenant that exists today. As mentioned in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16, this is the covenant, not was the covenant or covenant that was in the past or is rejected today or is made obsolete. No, this is the covenant. There's an existence to this covenant. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I would put my laws, my commandments, my laws, into their hearts and in their minds will I write them God writes his holy Ten Commandments his laws in the forehead where the mind is in the forehead is the mind and with the mind we serve the law of God as per Romans chapter 7 verse 25 and the laws of God his holy Ten Commandments are written in our minds so says Hebrews chapter 10 verse 16 but also in our hearts as per Psalm chapter 40 verse 8 and the second epistle written by Paul to the Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 so what does this all mean there's a covenant that God has in place with his people going back to the days of King Solomon Nehemiah and Daniel and all three great men of God spoke about God's mercy and also about keeping God's commandments. Are we still, or is it still necessary for us today to keep God's commandments? Well, we just read Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16, where in our minds and in our hearts, God will write his laws, his commandments for his people. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, my favorite Bible verse. It says, Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. That keep the commandments of God. That keep God's commandments. Echoing the words that we read in the first book of the Kings, chapter 8, verse 61. In King Solomon's prayer also in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 5 about observing God's commandments and God replies back in verse 9 and speaks about keeping his commandments and then you have Daniel in chapter 9 verses 4 and 5 about keeping the commandments of God there's a trend going on God's covenant his mercy his commandments and we just read in Hebrews 10, 
verse 16, about God's covenant, about his laws written in the mind and in the hearts of God's people. Revelation 14, verse 12, speaks again of God's people who keep the commandments of God, which we read about in the prayers of King Solomon, Nehemiah, and Daniel. They keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus, or Yeshua, or Emmanuel. We are to have the faith of Jesus and keep the commandments of God with the guidance of the Holy Spirit of truth. Furthermore, in Revelation chapter 22, verse 14, we read, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Into the city, the beautiful heavenly city, New Jerusalem, which is spoken about in Revelation chapter 21, verse 2. When you keep the commandments of God, you are victorious because of Christ. If you keep the commandments of God, you are with God. And Christ is with you through the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, will encourage you to keep God's commandments, which define His love. And the commandments of God also represent truth. As per Psalm chapter 119, verses 142 and verse 151. We need to go back to our biblical roots. We need to go back to the words of the holy prophets of God, who spoke truth, moved by the Holy Spirit including King Solomon, Nehemiah, and Daniel. Beautiful verses shared by these great men in their prayers. Beautiful verses that speak about keeping the covenant of God by abiding in God's mercy and by keeping the commandments of God. It's a package. When you obey God's covenant and keep His commandments, God will have mercy upon you. His grace will be upon you. As per Romans chapter 6, verse 14. The grace of God, His mercy will be upon God's saints, His children, who abide in His covenant and who keep His commandments. Please do so. And you'll be recognized as God's saints who keep the commandments of God by abiding in the covenant of God. And when you keep the commandments of God, you abide in the love of God and you abide in the truth. You cannot beat love and truth. When you keep the commandments of God, again, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh, you abide in the love of God, who is love, and you abide in the truth of God, who is also truth. Please abide in the covenant of of God. Please abide in His mercy and please keep His Holy Ten Commandments which reflect His love and His truth. May the love, peace, and grace of the Most High God, who is the way, the truth, and the life, who has a covenant with His people, His Holy Ten Commandments, and who has mercy and grace for His saints, who keep His commandments, be with you. In these troubling and times, so be it. Amen.